Sorry about that. Alarms this morning. I have things I gotta do this morning, actually. But this is always presidents first, then go forth, right? So it'll be a two-part video. I'm sorry to, you know, I totally apologize. But it's a click of a button. Give me a break. Our thumbs ain't broken. They're far from it. So, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye, being in the time past, Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. The veil is rent. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for, to make in himself of twain one new man of making peace. He took both the covenants, he took two things, brought them together, and made a third in the center. The law is not abolished, it is made fulfilled in it. Two whole, two holes come together and make a new whole. This is basics in this world. Two people come together and they make a third. A maybe comes out the channel, right? You know what I mean? <clears throat> two come together. The law and love come together to make... That's up for you to decide because I'm not going to interpret that for you. Oh, wow. Making in himself of twain. Wow, I got to read that again. Having abolished in the flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace with the law and love with mankind. Making peace with God and love with mankind. And that he might be reconciled both, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you, which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father, the Holy Spirit, the one Spirit, the only Spirit. The only Spirit that is in this world is perfect, pure, true, pure in motive. There's only one spirit here. Everybody says, oh, the spirits, the spirits, the spirits. There's one spirit here. It is the spirit of God in you, through you, and around you. That's it. There is no evil in this world. But if you can't see it for yourself, then just give it time. Pray. Pray that you see it for yourself. Pray night and day diligently that God reveal. He does. He really does. I literally can testify to that. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. He doesn't love us because of things we can do for him. If we can't keep up our end, you know, all the time, you know what I mean? If we need a break, he, he understands. You know what I mean? He doesn't just call you a, a thief and a liar and a betrayer and just rah, rah, you know what I mean? God's amazing. God's amazing. I'll tell you what. God's amazing. <laughs> Man. 
I just, I just can't wait for everybody else to see it. Nothing has changed in my life, and literally, I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life. It's crazy. And there's actually more craziness going on in my life right now than I've ever had, and don't even care. <laughs> don't even care. It's, it's fine. It, uh, God's in control. Trust me. God's in control. If you think that something's, you know, that maybe you don't need it. Just, just live right now. Just live right now. Just right now, and that's it. It's hard, but it's worth it. Took me 36 years. And many lifetimes, actually. Many. To get where I am. But it was all worth it. Every bit of it. God gives abundantly to all who ask. Just need to seek Him. That's it. That's it. And remember that, you know, sometimes the things that we want aren't always the things that we need. Okay. We'll pick it back up at 18. For through Him, we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Now, Therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, and of the household of God. Or Elohim, because it's not the Lord God, it just says God, so it's Elohim. But are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together, growth groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord wow in whom ye also are builded together for inhabitation of God through the Holy Spirit a temple built without hands made from the ground without human hands by fire by water by air and by earth or material you are all things and all things you could take one drop of any person's blood any tree any animal doesn't matter you can replicate everything that has ever been on this planet or ever will be with that DNA with that one drop of DNA it doesn't matter who you take it from everything that was made was made of the same code it's just arranged differently all you got to do is just rearrange the alphabet again that's it anybody's blood can literally recreate everything that we see here every animal we should be we, we could literally bring back all the extinct animals. I don't know if people understand that, but like even with Cas9 technology, we can do that today. Like right now. Like they've been reverse evolutionizing uh, chickens and uh, crocodiles and alligators and stuff, all kinds of animals to see their original, you know, they turn on hormones, turn off hormones. They literally are making dinosaurs in freaking laboratories, whether they're keeping them or not. I don't know. I don't know what the destruction rate is or anything. I don't know what's going on, but it's serious. It's going on. Like it's, it's all possible. And it's not only is it possible, it's happening. Just in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. So we will leave it here at chapter two. And uh, as soon as my father tells me to read chapter one to you guys, I totally will bestow on that. As he bestows on me, I shall bestow upon the world. You guys have a blessed day. Enjoy your Halloween. All you Halloweeners. <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. Every time I hear, oh, yeah, the Halloweeners, I'm like, hollow wieners 
Are you serious right now? That's what we're going to stick with. Okay. We're not going to get a... Okay. All right. That's what we're going with. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I have a good time. <laughs> um, just, you know... Okay. Um, just be safe. Watch your kids play. Have fun. Get involved. Do things. Just get out. If you're... If you're hiding out in your house, afraid to go out or anything, you know, afraid, you know, of whatever is being brought to the surface, take the time to deal with that, but remember to get back out and socialize, talk with others. I'm sure, I'm sure God is literally waiting within another to give you the advice that you're looking for if you would only speak on it. I don't know who that's for, but that's the honest to God truth. There's always somebody waiting to help you if you would just ask. God is within all of us, and he softens the hearts or hardens them according to his will and purpose, not ours. So just remember that God doesn't hate you when he doesn't give you everything that you want or desire. But if you look really closely, you've always had everything that you need. God bless you all, and may the resurrected Christ be alive in you today. Amen. Have a great day, guys. Have a good, happy weekend.